really fruity. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a new scapa here on my cast, the scapa Skiren. Skiren is an old Nordic word, means bright skies, glittering and describes the, well, the brightness of a Nordic summer. Scapa is a distillery which was closed for some time. Mm, say they produced very little whiskey over the years. And um, they had been a very famous Scapa, 14 years old, and this was sold really, really well. Um, then the distillery changed proprietors. The Alatomec, which uh, held the Scapa distillery in former times, uh, were bought by Diageo and Pernod Ricard, and they divided this conglomerate uh, into pieces, and uh, the Scapa went to Pernod Ricard. And uh, then they decided, well, we will have another one and another bottling, and uh, we will restart production, we will renovate the distillery. And when I visited Scapa in 2004, they were just in the process of renovating uh, the distillery and, uh, well, freshening everything up. And they invested, well, I think a few million. And uh, the 16-year-old, uh, I have a video of that, uh, came into the market and, well, it was expensive was really, really expensive. Well, they increased the ABV a little bit, uh, but sales, uh, well, collapsed is, is the right word. And today the Scapa 16-year-old is the only original bottling from the distillery, as far as I know. And uh, well, sales are mm, not that well. So they brought out in the fall of 2015, this Kappa Skirin, and unfortunately no age statement on it, uh, but first fill American white oak casks. And if you have a look at the bottle, then they are telling, uh, mm, this expression is exclusively matured in first fill American oak casks for a smooth creamy sweetness with a hint of tropical fruit, citrus and coastal heather. Um, batch SK01. So this uh, Skiren is the first batch of Skiren and there will be consecutive batches. 100% um, first fill, 40% ABV. Uh, yeah, and why do they use the old uh, Nordic word? Well, uh, the Orkney Insel, uh, Islands uh, belonged to to the, well, the Nordic uh, I think they were the, the kings of the, uh, the region which uh, f today is called Norway. Yeah, and uh, they try to, well, to base on their heritage to say, well, we are Nordic, we are in, uh, a mod from the Orcadian. Um, unfortunately, this one is colored with sugar caramel. It's really fruity in the nose, already here at the cork. I think there is something written on the back. Within reach of the Arctic Circle, Scapa, part of the Orkney Isle Archipelago, is ruled by the elements. Perched on the tranquil shores of Scapa Flow, the Scapa distillery is perfectly placed to look out upon the ever-changing seas and skies. To survive here, islanders have learned to harness nature's contrast and make the most of the Gentler month when the horizon is bright and gleaming. Skirin. It is 
these light summer nights when our home is bathed in endless twilight that have inspired the creation of the smooth honeyed single malt. Crafted the Arcadian way, our team of artisans pride themselves on using traditional methods and skills honed over several generations. The result is deliciously smooth, flowing with mellow fruits and heather honey and bringing to mind Scapa Flow's natural sanctuary from the restless elements beyond. Yeah. Really fruity. Yes, tangerine in it. So a little citrus with a, a sweet nose. Well balanced, flowing. In the back, probably some honey, but not too intense. And the heather, well, some herbs. Might be heather. And then caramel and vanilla coming up, showing through from the first Phil American oak. But they come quite late, so the first impact in the nose are these fruity aromas. The taste is quite smooth. There's no impact of alcohol, just 40% ABV. And then some spiciness arises, yeah, from the oak casks. And well, yeah, some coffee, espresso coming through. Faint bitterness in the aftertaste, which is a little bit drier. Oh. So the distillery was refurbished in 2004 and I think they started to produce in 2005 and uh, so today there might be whiskey available close to 10 years of age. Um, I do not taste these young metallic mouth covering aromas of a young whiskey. No, this one is already mature, that you can't feel uh, the original, well, youthness of this whiskey. So it's old enough, uh, but the, the taste, the additional aromas from the casks are not too intense. There is this oakiness showing through already. So I would suggest that this whiskey is mm, seven, eight, nine, close to 10 years old. Probably they have mixed a younger cask in. Oh. But this one is no simple NAS whiskey, no age statement. Uh, this is a better one. And I'm afraid this one is extremely expensive. Um, the 14 year old from the past was affordable, sold in huge numbers. The 16-year-old was then, well, quite expensive and people did not like to move to it. Um, then this one was placed in the market for close to 60 euros, dollars, pounds, whatever. And the 16-year-old, they moved it up to, well, I think over 100. So the amounts of whiskey available from the time before the renovation might be very, very small, so that they, they can afford to rise those prices extremely. The, the sales of the 16-year-old will go down extremely. They know that. And therefore, I think uh, the whiskey from the time before 2004 is gone. Now there's some caramel and vanilla coming up quite late, but now it's more intense. And the tangerine citrus note is still present, well balanced, and the aftertaste is already gone. 
Thank you for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned and feel free to share this video with your friends and add your comments in our forum and in our whiskey database. Thank you.